September 5, Saturday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, His disciples were picking the heads of the grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on a Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord of the Sabbath. Sabbath commemorates the institution of the perpetual covenant between Israel and God, a sign recalling two events, the day on which God rested after having finished the work of creation in six days, and the Israelites' deliverance from slavery in Egypt. To remember the event, twelve showbread Bread of presence, representing the twelve tribes of Israel, are consecrated. Jesus recalls that when David and his men were fleeing from King Saul, they were so hungry that they ate this bread that was to be eaten only by the priests. Thus, Jesus points out a basic principle. Human need is more important than ceremonial regulations. To free men from suffering is better than ceremonies. Love of God and love of neighbor sum up all commandments. Faithful love is mark of true worship and covenant relationship. As the prophet Hosea calls to Israel, For it is loyalty that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Finally, when Jesus claims that he is the master of the Sabbath, he asserts his authority over the Pharisees and the ceremonial laws because the Creator is far greater than the creation.